welcome back to Living It Country. I'm Holly and today we have another absolutely gorgeous farmhouse style home to share today. And I so enjoy sharing these homes with you guys. And today I'm so excited because we have a tour that's filled with not only fall farmhouse home decor, but also antiques, vintage finds, and some pretty amazing styling, which I know you all get really, really inspired by with new ideas. So I'm so excited to have Brie from my little black and white house here today. And she's sharing her home. It's gorgeous. It's full of black and white accents, of course, but also that pop of orange for the fall season. And you guys know I've been sharing a lot of fall candles from Antique Candle Co here, but today I'm really excited, really excited. They do have a new candle out that just launched and it's the homemade gingerbread candle. It's not yet available in the 16 ounce jar right here. It'll be available, um, I'll announce that to come, but it is so, so yummy that they just launched their Merry Christmas sample pack. So you guys can score this and inside of here is actually the homemade gingerbread scent. And then they have, have the Christmas day, they have the tree farm and the good tiding. And so this is such a fun way to get ready for Christmas and get your home smelling really festive and yummy. And like I said, the homemade gingerbread actually has kind of a fall smell. So super yummy. Just wanted to share this awesome little pack with you guys. So excited to have Brie here today. Let's welcome her here today. Let's go tour her home and get inspired for fall. Welcome to my home, my little black and white house. As you walk into my office, you're gonna see two antique kitchen carts that I revamped, repainted, and also added curtains to hide all of my work supplies. This is one of my favorite spaces. This holds all of my favorite treasures. To show them off, we added open shelving. I have many collections throughout my house. Simple things as um, rolls of yarn and string, vintage spice bottles, books, and lots and lots of vintage artwork. On the other side of the room, you're gonna find one of my favorite antique furniture pieces. This is right out of a barn. This is a very thin but large pickle cabinet. I love chenille blankets in all shapes and sizes, so you're gonna find them throughout my home. I love to decorate with unconventional decor, such as antique christening gowns, duck decoy suitcases, and even old soap boxes. As we leave my office, we're gonna walk into my open living room and dining room kitchen. Our living room has 20 foot ceilings, which we recently created and made these photo ledges, which I have already adorned with found art, tin tiles, and even an old water dispenser. I'm so excited that the weather has changed so I can throw the fireplace on and get all the warm and cozy feels. Some of the fun items you might find in my living room, besides the duck decoys and pumpkins and cement planters, an example is this ammunition cabinet. It was from the Canadian Armed Forces that used to hold ammo, and now we use it as a side table. Our coffee table was an antique dining table that was cut down to size to create the perfect round coffee table. Another unconventional item was this right out of the farm, right out of a barn ladder that I use as a bookshelf and it holds all of our vinyl. Not only does the ladder hold my, some of my antique books and all of my vinyl, it showcases some fun pieces. I have railroad 
ties, which I keep in a can because my grandfather worked on the railroad, so it reminds me of him. And there he is. I love decorating with black and white photos. That is a picture of my granny and my grandfather. And there they are in their first home. I love playing old vintage records. You're listening to Louis Armstrong, him, Ella Fitzgerald, Bing Crosby. You know, those are some of my favorites. I love to decorate with unusual pieces of furniture, suitcases, old trunks, this little 12 drawer um, cabinet, card catalogs. Those are all some of my favorite pieces. My fall decor this year is fairly simple. I just added some warm tones in the oranges and corals. I used some of the crocs I already collect and just threw some pumpkins in them just to bring those warm fall tones into the home during the fall season. This black and white step stool was such a find. I was so excited when I found it at a local antique store and I just snagged it. I had to have it and I might've even squealed, squealed a little bit because I just love it. I love the rustiness. I love all the little bits of paint that are left over from the previous owners. I just think it has so much charm. As you move into my dining space, we don't have a formal dining space as we have an open concept home but this is where we eat together as a family we hold all of our functions and play board games together i got this table off of facebook marketplace for under a hundred dollars and completely refinished it i purchased all these chairs separately and as a simple centerpiece this year i used an antique asparagus crate some pumpkins some ironstone and some beautiful full florals You can probably spy some of my collections in the back. I collect green striped restaurant wear and ironstone. My favorite color is green, so you're gonna spy a lot of green throughout my house. One of my favorite collections is old rolling pins with green handles. I love collecting pie birds and ironstone, as well as antique amber bottles. And this is only a little bit of my collection. As you can see, I have an open kitchen with a very large island. We worked on this project last year. We added the marble countertops, the wood shelves and corbels. We painted the island black. We added the subway tile backsplash and painted the crown molding white as well. For my birthday this year, my husband blessed me with this beautiful wood farmhouse door on our pantry. I love to decorate for the seasons with simple touches like these jack-o'-lanterns with a diffuser in one and a candle in the other. This is our coffee bar. Um, we have the curtain on the cabinet to hide the cat food. And on top I have refinished this antique cutlery drawer and turned it into our storage for coffee pods and paperwork. Simple touches like this towel bar decorated with vintage linens and enamel wear are really one of my favorites. Here's an overview of our home main floor from the pantry. I just love the wood beams so much, they really just warm up our space. So let's go upstairs. I can't wait to show you the guest bedroom. 
We're going up the stairs to the guest bedroom. One of my favorite collections of all time are team photos and old black and white photos. This is such a fun collection. Let's keep going. I created this gallery wall with some of my favorite antique finds. The ceiling is quite high and it's a great place to display some of my treasures. Right at the at the top of my stairs you'll find my refinished hutch. I purchased this off Facebook Marketplace and gave it a complete refresh and now it stores all my tarnished silver and milk glass collection. My second and only other heirloom besides my grandma's farmhouse table is my brother who's past dresser. I just love this. It will never be refinished because this was the way he had it and I love the way it looks. I've displayed my, a few of my um, clock collection, a shutter, and this amazing cabinet. So this fabulous wood box on top of Jack's dresser is a display case from the 1800s that a Watkins salesperson would carry with them on their wagon and they would store all of their wares inside and when it came to selling them they would open it up and display them on the wood shelves inside. I love the history of this piece. You'll find more black and white photos and always, always, you'll find lots of antique books in my decor. The guest room is my favorite room in the entire house. In March, I spent an entire month painting, redecorating, and making this a very welcoming and inviting space for my guests. Let's give you a little back, let's give you a little background to some of the pieces. This gorgeous antique cabinet was actually a freebie from a friend and I completely refinished it. Inside I store a few more of my collections. I collect weight scales. I collect books. I love old signs, spindles and scales. This beautiful wrought iron bed was actually a freebie off of Facebook Marketplace. I drove halfway around the world to get it, but it was worth it because it is a beautiful piece in this classic antique styled bedroom. All of the linens minus the sheets are all thrifted. As you can see, there's more chenille. I love chenille bedspreads. This one's a beauty with all the tassels. I've added a few fall touches with wood and straw swans and pumpkins. Above the bed are some amazing gold antique mirrors that I have found on my travels. These sconces were actually a rusty pink color when I found them. We're not sure what they were originally intended for, but I knew that they'd be beautiful sconces. A little black spray paint and they really just frame the window beautifully. Now nobody can accuse me of being a minimalist. <laughs> I love old antique stitching, cross stitching, paint by numbers, floral oil work, artwork and I love that when you put them all together and create a collection that it creates a warm and inviting space and also hides your ugly TV. <laughs> this antique buffet was purchased at Goodwill for $60 where I completely stripped, bleached, and sealed it. And it is one of my favorite pieces in the home. I also love to deconstruct furniture. So in the corner, you'll find a deconstructed velvet chair. This room really is a soft, serene, and cozy space for all my guests. From the upstairs hallway, you can look down into my living room. 
Next you have the master bedroom. This is such a cozy space and it shares a little bit of my design as well as my husband's. This green hope chest was made for me by my carpenter father-in-law. I refinished it and um, distressed it a bit. I just love the color green, so you're gonna find it everywhere. Our headboard is a 150-year-old barn door, which my husband refinished and hung for me. Our bedding is a antique chenille bed coverlet. Remember how I said I love antique flowers and floral artwork? This is the start of a new collection with some antique cruel, some tall paper artwork, and some chalkware. This apothecary dresser was purchased off Facebook Marketplace for under $70. I completely gutted it, sanded it, stained it, sealed it, and added new hardware, and I am in love with the result. I think it is a beautiful antique looking piece when actually it was probably made in the 70s. Above you'll see more of my collection of gold mirrors. I also hang all of my dried flowers from the spring and summer above the mirrors. This card catalog was purchased off Facebook Marketplace for $50. It was originally blue and green metal and rusty. I revamped it and painted it white, added a wood top, and styled it. And now it houses all of my jewelry. And my all-time favorite thrifted find is that beautiful original artwork. I just love the tones and it really has set the theme and the color palette for my entire home. We just refinished this bathroom early this year. I really wanted an authentic penny tile and I designed the pattern myself. It flows throughout the entire bathroom including the shower stall. We have subway tile, which is the same tile as the main floor, so it's all consistent. We have handmade ceramic tile in the niche. My love for a good bargain, I purchased that bathtub, brand new, but off of Facebook Marketplace. I knew I wanted a bath, black bathtub, so I painted it. You have an antique piano stool there. The little cabinet to the left was a Goodwill find for $7 and I just added faucets as hand handles. Above the little cabinet you'll find another one of my favorite collections. I love old and vintage, especially if they're rusty, first aid kits. Now this is just the start of my collection. I'm hoping to fill all those gaps up with more. I designed the vanities to follow the same theme and I wanted them to look like antique apothecary cabinets or card catalogs, as well as I have some more first aid kit themed items, as well as an old antique first aid kit that my friend turned into a beautiful night lamp for my bathroom. This beautiful barn quilt was made by a friend and it fits our theme to perfection. Well that's it guys. Thank you so much for coming and visiting and checking out my antique rustic wannabe farmhouse here in the city. I appreciate you stopping by and thank you so much for having me. You guys have a wonderful fall season and a happy Thanksgiving. A big thank you to Bree for opening up her beautiful home and sharing it with us here today. I hope you guys absolutely loved it just as much as I did and I will see you guys later on Living It Country. Bye!